Hello friends, I am Kanchan Sharma and I am Assistant Professor of Botany in Biani Group of Colleges. Today I am going to deliver my video lecture on the algae Cara. Cara as you I have already told you it is an algae and what is the most important feature of an algae that uh, it uh, belongs to the division Thallophyta. What is the meaning of Thallophyta is? Thallophyta is a plant which is not properly divided in root, stem and leaf. Here today we are going to discuss about Cara. Cara is also known as stone wood. It is a very uh, macroscopic algae. Its size can be seen with the naked eyes. The systematic position of Cara, it belongs to division Thallophyta that I just asserted. Then it belongs to subdivision algae. Algae means it is photosynthetic and it can make its own food. It belongs to uh, class chlorophyce means there are chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. These are the two pigments which are mandatory to present in this kind of class. Next it belongs to order carils. Uh, in carils a uh, very advanced type of reproduction sexual reproduction that is oogamous type of uh, sexual reproduction is found in it belongs to family Caraci genus Cara and today we are going to discuss about the species Velici. Now we will discuss about the occurrence of this algae. This is a uh, uh, cosmopolitan algae means uh, its occurrence is worldwide. It can be seen in each and every region of the world. Uh, there are 88 species found in the entire world out of them 27 species are found in India. So friends here I have drawn the diagram of Cara its plant body. Uh, it is 20 to 30 centimeter in height and sometime it reaches up to 120 inches in the height also. There are some species which, uh, which are very small in size like 1 to 2 uh, centimeter only. Uh, the Cara's main plant body is divided in uh, two parts that is uh, rhizoids and the main stem. The rhizoid uh, is embedded in the wet soil in which it is uh, grown. And the rhizoids are cylinder and uniserate, sometimes uh, they are whitish uh, in color or pale in color. And uh, the main function of rhizoids uh, are as simple as we know, uh, like they do anchoring, they give support to the plant, uh, plus uh, they absorb uh, the nutrition and water for the plant, as well as in Cara, they help in the vegetative reproduction also. The main plant body, uh, this is the main axis of the uh, Cara's plant body. It is uh, divided in nodes and internode. The portion on which you can see these are the leaf like structure which are grown is known as node. And uh, the median portion of two nodes is known as internode. I have drawn the section of both of them. I will explain you later about it. Uh, first, uh, let us discuss about the main uh, plant body of it. Uh, it has two kind of branches. The first branch is the branch of limited growth and second type of branches are branches of unlimited growth. The branches of limited growth uh, are uh, born on the branches of unlimited growth. The branches of unlimited growth are also divided in nodes and internode and from their nodal region the branches of limited growth are arised on which uh, the on the base of it the stipule like structure are present. Stipules are leaf like short structure from which uh, from the axil of it the branches arise and here only the globule and nucleal which are the sex organ of Cara arise also. On the branches of limited growth some uh, uh, leaf like structure are also present and uh, there are the diagrams of it. Here you can see the diagram of the nodal portion and this is the diagram of internodal portion. In nodal portion it is uh, almost hexagonal in uh, shape and it is rectangular in shape. Uh, the internodal portion uh, cells are larger in size and uh, the nodal portion cells are smaller in size. In uh, nodal portion cells the nucleus is present and uh, in outermost uh, area there is cell wall then the plasma membrane. Here the reserve food material is starch which is present in it and uh, it contains chloroplast also that is chloroplast A and chloroplast B uh, which help uh, in the photosynthesis and formation of this uh, food uh, which is stored in these cells. Here in uh, internodal section uh, you can see the outermost layer is the uh, mucus like layer and afterward uh, there is a lime uh, that is CaCO3 is a layer uh, which, are, uh, which is uh, 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 deposited on it. Then uh, there is cell wall and plasma membrane. After cell wall and plasma membrane, so many uh, disc shape uh, 
uh, chloroplasts are present in it and uh, the main central vacuole is present. Here the basic difference in both the cells is there uh, in uh, nodal region there are so many small vacuole but in the internodal uh, nodal cells uh, there is a large central vacuole only. In uh, both uh, the vacuole or outside the uh, membrane of the vacuole that is known as tonoplast, uh, the cyclosis and rotation movements uh, goes on. Here in internodal cells, uh, we can see the uh, cytoplasm is divided in uh, two parts. The area uh, which is near the tonoplast is known as uh, plasmogel and uh, which is near the cell wall is known as plasmosol. So both of them uh, mix and uh, mag uh, make the region of protoplasm. In Cara, there are two kind of reproduction which are found. One is vegetative reproduction and uh, another is sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction as I asserted you earlier that it is of very advanced type, oogamous type and globule and nucleal sex organs are present in it. In my next video lecture, we will discuss about it. So uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Please like and subscribe our channel gurukpo.com. Thank you so much.